any comfortable seated posture. Eyes softly closed. Three deep breaths. Let the exhalations wash over any tension that you might have in the body, in the mind. Let it all wash over with the exhalations. And after three deep breaths, allow normal breaths. Receive each breath. Paying attention to each breath. Not trying to interfere with the breath. But as a witness watching. Breath comes and goes, and it is having this global effect on the body. The whole body breathes in and out. Trillions of cells needing to get oxygen and eliminate waste. Just imagine trillions of cells, more than 30 trillion cells of your body breathing together. making light. In one of my blog, I refer to this as grand music. Each of us is a grand music created, continuously being created by Trillions of orchestras. Let's take a resolution to continue to pay attention to our body, breath, and mind, emotional state. As we diligently follow Hatha Yoga instructions. Avoiding injury by avoiding aggression. Palms to the heart center, Namaskaram. Tilt your head forward. Gently open your eyes. Inhaling, palms by the side, palms going up, looking up. Exhaling, palms coming down to the chest, looking down. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One last round. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Release. Come up to standing. Let's prepare for some balance and postures. <clears throat> Coming up to standing posture, feet hip width apart. Arms 
arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Inhaling, come up onto the toes, exhaling, heels down. Four more rounds. After completing, release the arms and stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up, feet hip width apart. Inhale center, exhaling, bend toward your left side wall, Arthakati variation. Inhale center, exhaling, bending the other way with both arms. Uh, so, lift both arms up, interlace fingers, palms facing up. Five rounds total. <clears throat> Not to push yourself too much as you are warming up, we're still warming up as much as you can. Pushing the hip toward the side wall and arms going toward the opposite wall. As you complete, release your arms, stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up. Interlace fingers, palms facing up. Inhaling, gentle back bend. Exhaling, halfway bending forward. Look at the back of your hands. Inhaling, back bend. Four more rounds. Inhaling, gentle back bend. Exhaling, halfway bending forward. Look at the back of your hands. Flatten your back. Total five rounds. After completing total five rounds, release your arm, stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Utkatasana practice. With the feet hip width apart, arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Utkatasana, bend your knees. And sitting in an imaginary chair, your arms are behind your ears, and your gaze is front and down at the ground. Even weight on your feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, release the arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Second round of Utkatasana. Take another deep breath, exhale. This time, see if you can bend your knees just a bit more than last time. And yet, keeping weight distribution on your feet even, you might have to push your seat bones further back and bend forward just a bit more, but keeping the arms and spine in a straight line as much as you can. Arms up, interlace fingers, palms up. Take a deep breath in, exhaling, Utkatasana. And then continue to breathe, deep breaths, bending your knees just a bit more than last time. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come up. 
exhaling, release your arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Feet close together. Bend your knees and hug your knees, right knee, hug your right knee. Sorry, bring your right knee up and hug your right knee close to the chest. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release the right foot down. Take a deep breath, exhale. Mm -hmm. Bend your left knee and hug your left knee close to the chest. Your spine is vertical. Your spine is not bending forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the left foot down. Take a deep breath, exhale. <clears throat> Hands on your waist, feet close together. Bend your right knee and bring the right knee up. And then stretch the right leg forward, toes pointing toward the front. Five. Raising the entire right leg up. Four. Three. Two, one, bend the right knee and right foot down. Take a deep breath, exhale. Bend the left knee and bring the left knee up. And stretch the leg forward, toes pointing to the front and raising the entire left leg up, engaging the quad muscles. Five, four, three, Two, one, bend the knee and left foot down. Release the arms, stand relaxed. Feet hip width apart. Arms up, interlace fingers, press the palms together. Arms up, press the palms together. Press the palms. Now take the arms, stretch your arms, hands going toward the ceiling. Stretch up. And gently, very, very slight back bend, very slight back bend until you can engage your abdomen. Pelvis moving forward, abdomen engaged just a bit as you are bending just a bit back and you're looking up toward the ceiling just a bit. Now watch your breath. Five. Four. Watch your rib cage, lower rib cage expanding. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, straighten up. Exhaling, release the arms. That is one posture where you can practice diaphragmatic breathing, where abdomen is held more or less in place, and the rib cage is also held with the arms up and making a cylindrical um, shape with the diaphragm moving up and down like a piston, energizing way. And you would feel the lower rib cage expansion. And so breathing more happens around the mid um, lower rib cage and uh, hanging ribs expanding. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Namaskaram. Take a deep breath, exhale. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara at your own pace. Begin.
attention to every breath. If you're uh, doing it out of habit, see if you can bring the attention back to do the posture as if you're doing it for the first time. After you complete three rounds, stand relaxed, the feet comfortably apart. Standing relaxed and allowing the breath to flow comfortably. Excuse me, I'll be back. Keep relaxing. Sorry about that. Some um, is on delivery. <clears throat> Take another deep breath and exhale. Let's uh, approach Brikshasana practice. Feet close together. Those who need some support, you can stand near the wall with the back against the wall and practice. Others who are comfortable stand right at the mat, the middle of the mat. Now let's start with the easier version. Hands on your waist. Bend your right knee and place the right foot around the left knee. Just above the left knee is fine. Um, the easier version is if, if you can place the right foot somewhere along the left leg with the right knee pointing to the right wall, stabilize and then Namaskar Mudra. You can either stabilize here and those who are comfortable, arms up, press the palms. Rikshasana, tree posture. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the leg and release the arms. 
Take a deep breath, exhale. Bend the left knee, place the left foot around the right knee. Namaskaram Mudra. Arms up, press the palms if you can. Five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Namaskaram Mudra. Release the legs and release the arms, stand relaxed. <clears throat> now the proper Rikshasana practice requires the heel of the bent leg to be placed at the root of the standing leg. That is one. And the second thing is to get the knee or to open the bent hip open and getting that knee to point toward the wall. Those are the two things you can correct for. Now, if you are having trouble getting the knee all the way up, you can simply repeat what we did earlier. Take a deep breath, exhale. Feet close together. Hands on your waists. Now, you can use your hands to bring your, you can help your leg come up. Bend your right knee, right heel to the root of the left thigh. And then consciously open the right hip and make the right knee point toward the right wall. Namaskaram. Stabilize here and those who can, arms up, press the palms. Five deep breaths. Rikshasana. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Namaskaram. Release the legs and release the arms. Good. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Tadasana. Feet close together. Hands on your waist. Bend the left knee, left heel to the root of the right thigh. And consciously open the left knee to point toward the left wall. Namaskaram Mudra. Stabilize here, those who can. Arms up, press the palms. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Namaskaram Mudra. Release the leg and release the arms and relax. Now you might find differences between the right side and the left side. Um, usually we use or we, uh, we are biased toward one side and you might feel stronger. And Hatha Yoga practice allows us to balance the right and left. As it balances the mind and the body, balances the breath, in breath and out breath. And our perceptions of the outside world and the inside world. And so as we practice, the whole body is um, toward a dynamic balance which is what is inherent to all life. So that's where we're going. Take a deep breath, exhale. Let's practice Padangushtasana. Feet close together. As we practiced before, bend your right knee and hug your right knee close to the chest. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Release the right foot down. 
and the levels. So those who are not able to grab the front toe and extend the right leg forward, you can simply bend the knee and hug the right knee as we did just did. Bend the right knee and bring the right knee up. With the right hand, grab the right big toe, three-fingered grip. The middle finger and index finger are between the big toe and the second toe. The thumb is circling around the big toe now. Extend your right leg forward as much as you can. And those who are flexible enough can lift the leg higher and bring the right shoulder to where it was earlier. And stabilize in this posture five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee and release the grip on the toe and release the leg, hands on the waist. Release the arms and relax. Padang Gushtasana practice. Those who are not able to straighten up the leg entirely, that is okay. As long as you are concentrated enough to balance on one foot. The flexibility with the upper leg will come more with more and more practice. And if you are not there yet today, you can simply bend the knee and hug the knee. That's okay too. Take a deep breath, exhale, Tadasana. Siva, if there is a light around the room, you might want to switch on the light. Thank you. I don't know if uh, Siva's video is frozen. Feet close together, Tadasana. Thank you, Terence. <laughs> Thank you. Feet close together. Hands on your legs. Bend your left knee, bring the left knee up. And with the left foot, grab the left big toe. And stretching the left leg forward as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, release the leg, stand relax. Observe the breath again. Once again, you might find a lot of differences between the sides. Not to worry about it, not to generate negative feelings about, oh, I'm imbalanced. We are all imbalanced. <laughs> that is why we are here. Um, whatever the imbalance is, Make that as an object for observation. Three deep breaths. Let's practice. <clears throat> we did Parivirta Trikonasana. It is uh, not, even though it is not quite a balancing posture, but if you are in the beginning stages, you might find it a balancing posture. Let's approach first Trikonasana, Parivirta Trikonasana. And like that, we will also practice Ashtachandrasana and Parivirta Ashtachandrasana. Take a deep breath.
feet close together front of the mat tadasana hands on your waist walk your left foot back by three feet Walk your uh, left foot. You uh, can start with the left foot back. Here, and then face the left wall. Your right foot is pointing front, and the left foot is turned forty-five degrees in. Straighten up the spine. Inhale, center. Exhaling, bend toward the front knee, keeping the right knee straight. Keeping the right knee straight, and then right arm hanging behind your right leg. Left arm up. Keep the right knee straight, and then gaze at your left thumb. Five, four, three, two. One, hands on your waist, inhaling. Come on. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Rotate your right foot in, left foot out toward the back wall, keeping the left knee straight. Bend toward your left knee, and then allow your left arm to hang behind your left leg. Right arm up. Gaze at your right thumb. Trikona asana practice five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist. Inhale, come up. Rotate your left foot in, right foot to the front, face front, and then move your left foot. Away toward the left wall, so that there is hip width, just hip width gap, which, uh, distance between your right foot line and left foot line. Face front. Um, Siva, face toward your right wall. Face toward your right wall. Turn and face. Turn and face. And move your right foot forward three foot, three feet. Right foot forward. Sorry, all, all of you come to the front of the mat, Tadasana. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Hip width distance. Now start. Let's start with hip width distance. Yes, hands on your waist. Now move your left foot back by three feet. That's it. Now we are going to do Parivritta Trikonasana practice. We need a good amount of balancing. So if your right foot line and left foot line is closer than hip width distance, you might find it even harder. Now your shoulders are facing front, hips are facing front. Keep the right knee straight. Inhale, exhaling, bending forward, halfway. Keep the right knee straight. Now rotate your right shoulder up, lowering the left shoulder, right shoulder up. Left palm reaching for the right shin. Left palm reaching for the right shin. Right arm up. Now bring the shoulders vertical. Five deep breaths. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist. Inhale. Walk your left foot forward and release your arms. I brought this up as a balancing posture, even though it is not quite a balancing posture. It's a lateral bend and a twist. Actually, a forward bend in it. Sorry, not a lateral bend in this. It's a forward bend. Remember, we started with um, halfway bending forward. That's a halfway forward bend. 
and then we are revolving our shoulders for the twist. And since we are beginning, we might find this more of a, a balancing challenge. That's the reason. Front of the mat. Take a deep breath, exhale. Feet hip width apart. Hands on your waist. Walk your right foot back by three feet. Now throughout the practice, you're going to keep the left knee straight. Inhale, exhaling, halfway bending forward. Right hand on the left shin. Rotate the shoulder open. Bring the shoulders vertically in alignment and then left arm up. Um, other way, Niranjana. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist. Inhaling. Walk your right foot forward. Relax your arms. Stand relaxed. Hari Vritta. Trikonasana practice. Three deep breaths before we approach Ashtachandrasana. Ashtachandrasana is more like Virabhadrasana, first variation except the back foot is on the toes and we can also go for a back leg. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Feet close together, standing tall like a mountain. Take a deep breath, exhale. Bring your feet hip width apart. Namaskaram Mudra. Inhaling back bend. Exhaling forward bend. Inhaling right foot back, long step back. Ashva Sanchalana. Make sure that as you take your right foot back, the right foot line and the left foot line are hip width apart because you need that hip with distance for you to balance. Keeping the left knee bent, hands on your waist, straighten up the spine. Keeping the back foot on the toes, keeping the left knee bent. You are now balancing on the front foot flat, back foot on the toes, hands on the waist. Those who are finding it too challenging, put the back foot also flat on the back. Namaskar Mudra. Arms up, press the palms. And a back bend. Ashtachandrasana. Five deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. Namaskaram. Ashtachandrasana. Left foot back, plank. Adho Mukeshwanasana. Drop your knees down, Vajrasana. Relax. Palms up. Palms facing up, back of the hands on your thighs. Take a deep breath, exhale. Balasana, bending forward. Stretch your arms forward. And from Balasana, come to plank posture. Adho Mukeshwanasana. Bring your feet hip width apart. Inhaling. Right foot forward between the palms or closer to the right palm. 
right foot closer to the right palm. Now back foot is on the toes, right foot flat on the mat. Keeping the right knee bent, hands on your waist, straighten up the spine. Settle down. Namaskar Mitra. Arms up. Pressing the palms, back bend. Ashtachandra. Five deep breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Namaskar Mitra. Ashvasanchalana. Right foot back plank. Ado Mukeshwanasana. Drop your knees down. Vajrasana. Relax the shoulders. Palms facing up. Watch your breath. Once again, you might find differences in how balanced you feel with the right foot forward versus the left foot forward. If you find any differences, make a note. It's information, not for judgment, but it is information. Not to feel anything negative about it. Now, we are going to use Ashta Chandrasana stance. And then we're going to bend forward and also twist, much like we did in Parivritta Trikonasana. Balasana. Stretch your legs, sorry, stretch your arms to the front, parallel to each other, come to plank posture. Palakkasana. Adomukeshvanasana. Now bring your feet hip width apart. Inhaling, left foot forward, place the left foot closer to the left palm. Keeping the back foot on the toes, front foot, knee bent, hands on the waist. Straighten up the spine. Namaskar Mudra. Lean forward from the hips. Bring your right elbow over the left thigh. Rotate your left shoulder up and turn fully toward the left wall and look up at the ceiling. Five deep breaths, five. Parivritta Ashta Chandrasana, four, three, two, one. Namaskaram Mudra, Ashva Sanchalana, left foot back plank, Adho Mukeshvanasana. Drop your knees down, Vajrasana. Relax. Take a deep breath, exhale. Balasana. Stretching your arms to the front as much as you can. And proceed to Palakasana. Adomukeshwanasana. Feet hip with the pot. Inhaling, right foot forward and right foot closer to the right palm. Keeping the back foot on the toes, front knee bent, hands on the waist, straighten up the spine. 
नमस्कार मित्र लीन फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम द हिप्स टेकिंग योर लेफ्ट एल्बो ओवर योर राइट थाय रोटेट योर राइट शोल्डर अप एंड गेज एट द सीलिंग फाइव डी ब्रेथ्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू नमस्कार मित्र अश्व संचाल अदोमुख श्वानासन डाउन वज्रासन सेपरेट योर नीज Shashankasana. Relax. If Shashankasana is not relaxing you, find a relaxing posture. And continuing to watch your breath. Whether we are pausing between the postures or in the postures, attention to the breath. in the body when we are observing our breath and the body and the emotions we are connected to the moment and we are free to observe when we get caught up in the chain of thoughts we are prison we become prisoners we lose the freedom and we are taken away from the reality of this moment and the practice of the yoga practice on the mat is to be free to observe moment to moment experience and that is where freedom is to be found whatever be the experience we are absolutely free to observe pain or pleasure frustration or joy disease or health सुखासन थम्स अप एलबोज कंफर्टेबली बेंट बाय द साइड्स ऑफ योर बॉडी स्पाइन कंफर्टेबली इरेक्ट आई सॉफ्टली क्लोज्ड वॉच योर ब्रेथ be free in your capacity to observe whatever that is happening you're not caught by the pleasantness or unpleasantness of the experience you are merely observe and in that capacity to observe whatever the experience is we are free lie down on your back Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side.
sit back down, release the legs and make any final movements that you wish to make before proceeding to Shavasana. Legs comfortably apart, feet relaxed, arms, your palms are about a foot away from your thighs, palms facing up preferably. Your palms are away from your thighs on both sides. Your neck and spine in a straight line. Check if your chin is up, too far up. Bring the chin naturally so you can rest the back of your head comfortably on the mat and yet breathe freely. Relax the shoulders. Relax the jaws. Relax the tongue. You can smile. If you have any residual creases on your forehead, if you're frowning for any reason at all. Let the next exhalation wash those creases away. Allow the observation of inhalations bringing energy and exhalations bringing a wave of relaxation continue. You can observe your abdomen rising and falling. Relax. Gently come out of Shavasana. Stretch. Bend the knees, roll onto your right side and take your time. When you're feeling Ready to sit up, sit up, facing front eyes, softly closed. Any posture, meditative posture that allows the spine to be erect comfortably so. With gratitude, filling the heart for the opportunity to practice at the yoga today. And the life situation that allowed us to be here and now. Take your hands back. Inhaling, growing taller. 
exhaling, bending forward. Thank you, Mother Earth. Inhaling, come on. Rub your palms. Massage your closed eyes. And gently blink your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity.